In this video, we're going to be looking at the master pages in ASP.NET. Uh, master pages allows a developer to share the same content or create common layout among multiple pages in ASP.NET. For example, you can share the same header, footer, sidebar, and navigation among all your pages so that they have the same look and feel. Uh, so what master page does is allow uh, you to create a common layout for your pages so that you can use the same layout in different pages because uh, up to this point we have been creating uh, different pages which looks very different so in order to share the same look and feel among multiple pages it is a good idea to use a master page uh, master page makes it easy to create this same look and feel of your website that will be shared by the rest of the pages once your master page has been created then it is easy to maintain your code uh, if you are not satisfied with a shared content such as the header or the footer all you have to do is just modify the master page and the modification will, re will be reflected across all the pages that you have applied the master page to. Uh, whenever you add a new page to your website, you will get an option to apply any master page uh, be because it's, um, it is possible to have multiple master page in a web application. So whenever you create a new page for your website, you get an option to select a master page for the new page. You can have multiple master pages in one web application to give different pages a different look and feel. So let us create a simple master page. So let's go over to uh, Visual Web Developer and uh, create a new website, which we're going to name, just as an example, we're going to call it Master Page. So we're going to call it Master Page. And we're going to File System, C Sharp, we're going to say OK. So uh, we have a very simple, uh, rather than just go ahead and design this page, what we'll do is, because this is a, just a very simple example, in the next video I'm going to actually create a uh, almost perfect uh, master page. This is just an example. So to add a master page to your web application, you have to right click and say uh, add new item, but if you don't want to do that you can always click on this add new item icon here. So add new item. Uh, you see we have so many things that we can add. We can add a style sheet which we're going to be using in the next video, a skin file which we're going to be using in uh, pre uh, future videos, a uh, data set. So we're going to select a master page here and you can name it anything as long as it has the dot master at the back of it. So uh, we want to have the we can place the code in a separate file, we can place it in a new same file. And so let's leave it the default name master page dot master. We're going to say add. So now this is our master page. So one thing that you have to pay attention to are these two uh this content place order. The content place order is this is what is going to be holding the content. Uh, you may not understand what this means now, but in the next video, you're going to see this is where you're going to be writing the content for every other page that will in inherit this uh, master page. So let's go to the design view and just do a very, very simple uh, uh, example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, background color for this master page. I'm going to change it to a color such as this and we have content place order so what's going to happen is if I if I should had what I'll do is I will copy this content place order and paste it back on the page so we have two content place order so now we have content place order one and content place order two so if we go back to the design view you can see that we have two content place orders so right now I can type anything that I want inside so let's uh, just create an header let's see an header header one so this is the master page so so we have our design view so as you can see in the master page we can modify this content we can modify all the content so but uh, if I to use the master page now you have to create 
you have to create a page that will inherit the master page that you have created so if I had uh, if I had new item and I want to add a web form which is a new page and I call it page 2.espx page 2 the ESPX so you have to remember to select this uh, a checkbox that say select a master page because we already have a master page now so we can select a master page so if I say had it's going to give us an option and we only have one uh, master page in our folder in our web application so I'm going to select this one say okay so the first thing you have to notice straight away is that we do not have the HTML tags in this new page 2.aspx we only have the content place orders so as you can see these are the content place order the first one that we had and the second one that we had in the previous uh, in the master page so if I go to the design now you can see that all the yes you see the cursor of my mouse it has turned to a no I, I won't be able to edit it because you can see the red uh, icon which shows me that there's no there's nothing to uh, it's not possible for me to uh, modify the page I cannot modify the title for example because this is what all the pages in my website will inherit now but I can actually type into this content place order so I can say uh, this is content place content place order so and this second place order so as you see I'm allowed to only edit the uh, content inside the content place order but I'm not allowed to modify anything on the page anymore because we have inherited from this so if we run this page now which is page 2 the ASPX it's asking if you want to modify the web.config file yes we're going to be using that uh, web.config file in the future video so as you see now I can write content so this one is, is central to all the pages now unless I modify the master page I will not be able to modify this in each content page so what we do now is uh, we're going to create a third page and also do the same thing so now let's go ahead and uh, had a new page again we're going to call this page 3 page 3 we're going to select a master page say hard uh, master page dot page the master so the same thing is happening here and uh, if we go back to the design view this is all we can modify we can modify the content place order the first one and the second one we cannot modify the heading so I can say this is page 3 this is page three so now you get the idea so if we go to page three now we can see that everything from the master page has been applied except the content place order which allows us to modify the content on the page so now I'm sure that you can see the power of the uh, master page it allows you to create the same look and feel for all your pages in the next video I'm going to be creating a uh, CSS so we can structure our page and uh, will be able to uh, uh, show you more uh, properties of the master page. Thank you.